So I'm going to take this basketball with paint on it and touch it to the smooth shooter, which you wear on your offhand, and I'm going to show you how little contact this actually has with the basketball versus what your hand actually has. So when you train with a smooth shooter, you're really limiting that offhand and the influence it has on your shot. So you're going to develop a true one-handed shot instead. So here we go. We're going to touch the paint to the smooth shooter. We'll hold it on there just like I would be wearing it. It'd be flat against the ball like that. Okay, and then we'll take it off. That's it. That's all the smooth shooter is going to touch the basketball which means you're training with this, you're really learning to develop that true one-handed shot. You're gonna to have to learn how to shoot the basketball without involving your offhand. And that's gonna translate down into your legs, how much power you get from your lower body and flows up into your upper body. And it's gonna reduce the amount of shoulder you shoot with as well. So that's all the paint that's on that ball from there. So you can see the amount of surface area where your hand typically would go for your offhand when shooting. But when you use a smooth shooter, that's all the contact area you're gonna have. And that's important because it's gonna limit, down to that, what your offhand can do. And we don't want our offhand in our shot except to balance the basketball and help us hold on to it. We don't want it to do anything involved in the actual shot. That's one-handed. A shot should be one-handed. The offhand is just to balance and hold the basketball. And by training with the smooth shooter and having this little of contact with the basketball, you're going to develop that true one-handed shot, just like the pros.